Come along with me as we visit one of the most well-known landmarks of Israel, the Tower of David. Now, what's interesting about the Tower of David is that what most people recognize as the Tower of David has nothing at all to do with King David. And what many visitors and even Israelis recognize as the Tower of David of today is really a Muslim minaret only a few hundred years old. And that minaret sits upon a tower which is really part of a series of towers that make up the citadel, or what is today called the Tower of David. King David's city did not extend to this area. It most probably received the name, the Tower of David, from one of the well-known names in which Jerusalem was called, the City of David. Pilgrims coming from a distance would see this tower complex first and excitedly call out, there's the Tower of David. This tower has a commanding view of the entire old city and is the highest point of old Jerusalem. The citadel that we see today was built mainly in its present form by the Ottoman Empire over 400 years ago. But the first fortification was built by King Hezekiah, who was a seventh generation descendant of King David. He built it in the 8th century before the Common Era. 2,000 years ago on this same spot, King Herod, who we've met so often in Israel, improved the fortifications and added three huge towers to the first wall. Since the times of Herod, this compound has been used as a military quarters for many of the armies that conquered and occupied Israel throughout its long history. From the Egyptians to the Crusaders and the Turks to name but a few. And they've all left their mark here through the variety of architecture. Today, the Citadel serves as a museum dedicated to the history of Jerusalem with many different rooms detailing the different eras and peoples who have left their impact on this special city.